Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're running the M55 on Ghost Town. Now we're going to wait to see where we spawn because this map, it, it can be played well from either side in an arty as long as your team's not completely incompetent. Um, so hopefully we'll get into uh, the game and we'll see where we're at. Alright, so we spawn in the south. Now the way I like to do the south is I like to turn left and go down to B1. Okay, so that's where we're going to head. We're going to head straight for B1 or C1. Actually, it's between C1 and B1. It's like right on the edge of the two. So we're going to go down here. I'm tell I've am I'm already told my team to meet me, you know, to help me on that left side. Um because if you control that mound with an arty you can hit so many more places on this map and help your team so we're gonna head over here as quickly as we can and this is not a slow arty but the the terrain is not the nicest for us we're doing 45 kilometers an hour right now so not bad we hit 50 51 you know so we're, we're moving Alright, so now the hope is that they don't have a fast mover going down the right side, but they only have two medium tanks. So the odds of that would be low. We made it. Now we are behind cover. And I'm going to get just to the edge of this building here. Okay, that way I can shoot down this left side unabated and undetected. Alright, right off the bat, a Yag Tiger and E75. So now we get to unleash the beast okay we splashed the yag tiger that probably tickled his sphincter there we go he's got half health now and he will not want to sit there very much longer oh he got tagged again by somebody so uh now he's wanting to get out of there and he bumps into the e hundo and then starts steadying for another shot he's got a 128 millimeter cannon which fires relatively quickly so shot out and he's dead all right, so E75 next. Uh, E75 looks like he's not going to survive long enough for us to reload, and he didn't. All right, so what do we got out in the open? Uh, Waffentrager Panzer IV. Nope, he disappeared, and we don't have anybody to spot him. So changing target. Give me something to believe in. And a 183. Um, I tell my teammate to get out of the way because uh, that 183 will wreck his day. I get a good shot in, shot out, and I overshoot him. What a lucky, lucky uh, 183. Alright, I can't hit the E-Hundo, but now we've got, I believe, an E-4. Yep, E-4. Over here on the left with a Leopard. Alright. The only reason I would shoot the Leopard over the E4 right there is A, it's the fast mover, and B, the Leopard is a one-shot kill for me. I mean, let's face it, it has no armor. If I hit it, I will pin, and I will kill him. Most times. 9.5 9 times out of 10. E4, on the other hand, we get a good shot into the front of him, damage his ammo rack, and take a third of his health and track him. So, that leaves him vulnerable to our team if they're willing to shoot him. I don't think I ever got any assisted damage, so I don't think they actually did shoot him. But they could have, had they been in position. Alright, now the right side's calling for help, so I'm going to try to help these guys out. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. Okay, we got the Waffentrager Panzer IV that was out in the open over there. Shot out. Ah, oh, just overshot him. If we had hit him, he'd be dead. A uh, Waffentrager is a guaranteed kill for me if I hit him. It's, uh, I believe, 15 or 1600 hit points immediately. It's total decimation. Every time I've ever hit a Waffentrager Panzer IV directly with an 8-inch howitzer, it's dead. It's a guaranteed kill. If I hit it. If I, I've splashed him for a lot less. But we get a shot out on the Patton. Stay there. And we got him. All right, so that's one of their fast movers down. All right, the one eight or the FV two fifteen B just came around the back side of the Conqueror. It's nothing I can do about that. All I can do is try to help these guys. Okay, they got the F two fifteen, so that's a good start. And then we've got the Waffentrager Panzer four, 
getting up in there. Unfortunately, I just bloomed out like a doofus. Um, now, we've got an E3 getting ready to join the fun. So, as soon as I get this 1.9 seconds, shut out. And he stopped, but we still connected. So, he's tracked. He's got 600 damage. Our one uh, M103 is in trouble. I figure he's probably dead, so I'm going to try to help one of these guys out. I can't hit the E4. Leopard, I'm not going to be able to hit. Artie, and they already killed him, so we don't get that shot. Leopard's behind cover. All right, back down to the right. Okay, now we've got this a some sort of AMX heavy tank, I believe, versus this E3. That's not a fight that that French heavy is going to win. We've got to help him. So he's behind it. We get a shot out. There we go, 935. Now that's a one-shot kill for most of us. Now you see this heavy tank burning to death, but he survives. And here's where I tell him, don't get yourself killed. Keep him spotted. I will kill him. I am 10 seconds out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, shot out. And he's dead. Last kill of the game, we end up with three kills, seven hits, so this is going to be a pretty good game for us. Alright, 4,500, that'll be a Gore's Medal because we only have 450. That's ten times the hit points of my tank in damage. Uh, we also ended up with three kills, third on the team. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button for me. Leave a comment below if there's something you'd like to see or not like to see. Share the channel with your friends so that they can enjoy me as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.